So slippery conditions, especially for those on our left, their right. So who will get the advantage from this start? Chaz Mostert easily. And look at David Reynolds trying to snake his way through while Jamie Winkup went to the right-hand side and dropped a couple of tyres on the inside of the circuit. So the youngster Mostert fires through. Meanwhile, Alex Prema fires off with Russell Ingle behind him. Isn't it amazing how this sport turns out incredible stories like this? Over the last week or so, Dick Johnson's story has been front and centre. The trials and tribulations of one of our great Australian sportsmen and a Hall of Famer in this sport have been laid bare. And on this weekend... 3.5, the wheel behind, last lap. There he is, on the straight that is named after him, Dick Johnson looks on and sees this 21-year-old rookie who only came into the championship in WA in the fourth event of this year, replacing Johnny Reid is now less than one lap away from a breakthrough win. This is race number 13 of his full-time main game V8 supercar career. Race number 13, that's an extraordinary stat for this, this guy. And he will become, we've had a couple of false starts on this stat, but he will become the 10th different winner on the top of the podium for this season. What a performance. He was the Australian Formula 4 champion in 2010 with a record 14 out of 24 race wins. He came into this category late this year with eyes wide open and he has been loving every minute of it. But none more so than today because yet again the rookies come to the fore and Chas Mostert breaks through. What a win, what a fantastic story, and what an effort for Dick Johnson Racing. Well, 82 races have passed since Dick Johnson Racing won a V8 supercar race. Almost three years. And today, you have seen the future of V8 supercars. Scott McLaughlin winning earlier, Chaz Mostert winning this one, and his head is spinning in more ways than one. Tears in the eyes of Dick in pit lane. <laughs> Will Davison just offering his congratulations straight away. And Mark Winterbottom will be on the podium as well. Big day in that young man's life. And there are moments you never forget. And to do it the way that he's done it today has been something very special to watch. Well, Chaz, just getting the congratulations of the team. Might be hard to catch, actually, guys, at the moment, because this is some <laughs> celebration <laughs> for Pepsi Max Racing, and they want to save at the moment. Chaz, congratulations. The qualifying was fantastic. We knew big things were coming, but to get that first race win here is super special. Oh, tell me about it. You know, um, watching Scotty McLaughlin this year have a couple of wins, I was like, God, that guy's lucky. And, and now I know how he exactly feels. This is sensational. This is probably better than the, you know, seven wonders of the world, this thing. So I love this thing. <laughs> Your celebrations across the line were fantastic. Did you, did you feel confident pretty much all the way there? Oh, not really. You know, it's the first time I started off the front row um, in this series. Um, I knew it was going to be hard. Um, if Scotty McLaughlin didn't do that tyre, I'm probably pretty confident he would have got me. But, um, you know, it was good to have that bit of a gap behind a Wilbur there and I could try and manage that front left tyres. You can feel it kind of vibrating from about 10 laps to go and um, you're lucky we got there. Scotty in race 23, you in race 24. This is the year of the young guns. Yeah, hopefully we can keep it up, but uh, it's hard yakking against these legends and, um, you know, we'll see how we go. Congratulations. Awesome breakthrough win. Well done, Chas. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 V8 Supercars Coats Hire Ipswich 360 Race 24 winners. Chaz's dad, Eddie, looking on to see his son on the top step of the podium and savouring that wonderful taste of V8 Supercar success for the very first time.